questions for Jeremiah? Jeremiah, obviously the veteran on the team. Do you feel like the leadership role is something that you're suited for, or is it something you're still growing into? Uh, I feel like it's something that I grew into over time. It started last year for me. Uh, Coach uh, Toler told me that uh, our receiver group kind of like builds off my energy, so I got to make sure like my mindset is right and I have a, 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 a upbringing that uh, like breeds positive. So I, that's what I try to focus on, just have a, a certain type of positive energy and keep a, keep a bounce in my step. Your wide receiver room is going to look a whole lot different in the fall. Yes, sir. You're going to double or more yeah. and add a lot of size yeah. too. How do you expect that to change things? Uh, I mean, I don't think it'll change too much. I feel like we're good with right, and it just adds more more fuel power. You know, we have a like like certain people here, like uh, Mason, both of the Mason Bengals and things like that. So we're just glad I can't wait to have them back. There are some changes this offseason. You could have easily said, you know what, I'm going to look for a fresh start and yeah. go somewhere else. What kept yeah. you here? Uh, pretty much Coach Toller and uh, the Cal like base family. Uh, I'm big on family, so I feel like it was home here. So I was like, why would I leave it? It feels like home to me. So that, I was big on family, and that's that's one of the reasons why I stayed. When you saw what the offense was going to look like under Coach Spav, what yeah. excited you about that opportunity? Uh, I mean, over over time, he has very explosive offenses, and his receivers went to the league and every time he had uh, what a top ten top ten offense when he was offensive coordinator. So as a receiver, you got to love that. So that's what I what, that's what I seen. I just love his energy about the game and how straightforward he is. He's down to earth, and I love that. So yeah. There's been a lot of talk, especially early on, about the vertical game. Yeah. How do you factor into that? I mean, as as Watching film, that's one of the most things I do is just deep threat. So it's just, uh, I, I'll just, I just grin every time I see it. I'm, I'm happy for it. Obviously, you know, with the room changing a little bit, there's opportunities for some guys that maybe haven't had those opportunities. Yeah. What have you seen from some of those guys that are getting a chance to showcase their abilities this spring? I feel like everybody stepping out their shell. Uh, one that's shocking me the most right now is Javon. Uh, last year, he was kind of in his shell, but he's more confident now in, in himself, and he's just trusting in himself and believing in himself. And it's, I just love to see it. From where he started, from where he's at now, I'd love to see. Who's that again? Uh, Javen, Javen Puma. Yes, sir. You got Maven and, and Monroe uh, yep. with you with that first unit. What have you seen from them and their development so far? This <coughs> this spring? I mean, they're they're both hard workers, and we just feed off each other, try to steal uh, you know releases or techniques from one another. So uh, they're just hard workers, and I try to feed off them, and they try to feed off me. So we just try to push hard receiver room as far as we can take them. Uh, Jaden broke off a big run to open the yeah, team period. Yeah. Uh, if that was a game, it would open up a lot of things for you guys. How, how yeah. valuable is it to have you know not only him but Byron and some of these other running backs? I as mean, well? it's, it's just easy, like you said. If they're making runs like that, they're gonna have to load the box, and if they load the box, it's gonna be one on one outside. So we we love that matchup. How do you feel like your connection with Sam is growing? You and the receivers? I think I think it's good. You know, we still have a, a work to do, but over time we're getting better and better. We we score today on on a scramble drill. That's pretty much gonna be how it is in the game. Because Sam, I don't think he's gonna get tackled like that. He's gonna make extend a lot of plays with his feet. So I just gotta keep working and uh, getting on the same page. But are you, yeah. are you getting used to um, catching balls from a quarterback on the run? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically backyard football. I was doing that since I was in elementary school, so it's fun. It's real fun to me to bring back memories. So yeah. Did you look into the transfer portal at all? Nah, not really. I just, I just uh, told my concerns with Coach Toler straight up. I was like, Coach, I'm scared. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Cause we lost three quarterbacks. We lost our starter Jack, and then we lost uh, Kai, then our other one Zach Johnson. So I'm like, dang, we, we don't got no quarterbacks right now. But Coach just told me like, just believe me, everything will be all right, and I. I believe in with all my heart, so I just stayed. Were you surprised that Sturdivant left? Uh, not, not really, because we talked about it. He told me what he was going to do. So uh, he just said he was going to fill it out. But it's, it's, it's the best to him, so yeah, love that guy. And how's Fernando coming along? Oh, he's real good. Nando, Nando if y'all know Nando, he's a lot of energy. And we love Nando. He, he's gonna, he doesn't care. He's going to throw the ball. He doesn't care. Like That's his mentality. He's trying to, he's trying to win. He's trying to move the ball. So I'll stand behind Nando. Does he call you sir like he does us? Uh, <laughs> nah, not really. He calls it, he calls me Jay Hunt. Well, yeah. All right. Coach Babb talked earlier in spring about trying to have some fun yeah. during the spring and, and with his offense. Yeah. What, what have you seen from just the different looks he's showing you guys and the different things he's kind of bringing to the table that like he's maybe just trying out during the spring? You know, the difference I've seen is just he, he's letting us play ball. He's, he just gives us calls and just just leaves it up to us. And, and he, he sees what we like, what we think on the field, and then we'll go talk about it and then say what he thinks and when, we, when we watch film on Tuesday. But he's just letting us play to play ball, and I think that's one of the funniest things. Like, where he, he doesn't keep us in the box, he's letting us be free, and I, I love that a lot from Spad. Can you expand on that a little bit? How, how is your role different 
with this offense versus last year's offense? Uh, last year, it was like a lot of like stationary stuff where we had to, uh, sometimes it's like a mandatory, we had to do this mandatory where in SPAB we can break things off, things like that. So I would say that's a different thing. More wide receiver responsibility? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. But it, so it's not it's not too much. It's just we just playing. Yes, sir. Spring ball coming into an end this week. Yeah. What are some things that you have in your mind that you're focused on that you guys need to get better at by the time you know fall camp arrives? Uh, I will just say tempo because the faster the faster we go, the harder it is for the defense. So I would just say our tempo, getting back to the ball. So yeah. Our receivers expected to be more physical um, on, on the blocking game in this scheme. Uh, I would just say it was the same as last year. Our, our main job, Coach told us, tell us to keep our men off the off the tackle. So. So whoever's our man at that play, we gotta keep him off the tackle. So it, it doesn't the physicalness doesn't change from last year or this year, it's gonna be the same. Okay. Yep. Any DBs that you go against regularly that have impressed you or you have stood out to you? Uh I, I like all of them, but uh no impressed me just because he's transferring. Noah's been really good. Uh K Moore's been really good. Uh yeah, all of them would be good. They, I just like them because they all do different things. Uh, you know, Lou does different things, Jay Irv does different things from one another, but I all like them. Uh I think but I know the transfer has probably impressed me the most. He's real patient. You guys go against each other in one on ones quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, what have you seen? What have you seen that stood out about just what he brings to the table? He's just real patient. He uses his hands very well. So I, I think that's one of my uh, things I got to work on at the line of scrimmage is working my hands too. So we just sharpening each other's tools, and I can't wait. I can't wait to just keep going at him. He's gonna get me better. I'm gonna go get him better. So, yeah.